free and college football picks. This is action here for Saturday, October the 14th. I'm Tony here with our college football pick show here for Saturday action. We have all 46 games. Before we get into just a couple things, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free college football picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports like NFL, like Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL up there for you as well. Lots of live shows over our channel. Making a great time to subscribe. We'll throw some props in there with our midday play show, some live shows uh, as well. Making a great time to subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, give us that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to visit our site, TonySpicks.com. We're a multi-capper site showcasing top cappers from our industry. Click the links of the hot cappers. Get signed up to our long-term passes. Hot cappers like Ramon Scott for the year. Joseph Schultz, fantastic numbers up there. Last three days, Hollywood Sam has been on fire. Collins Brown as well. Ben Ruhala on fire. Last seven days, it's Joseph, Ben, Hollywood Sam, Chauncey up there. Nick, click the links. Get signed up to our long-term passes. You'll find our latest print picks here in the center of the page. Of course, our best bets our $15 premium pick, promotional props as well up on the board. And of course, you can also purchase plays a la carte from our pick ticker, as you can see here, with team versus team information. And you can save 20% off all premium pick packages when you use that promo code TONYT at checkout. You can access our page by clicking the link in the description. Click the All Cappers tab, get signed up. Always love to hear from you guys who can post your picks in the comments. We are looking for cappers, so apply on that home page. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Arkansas versus Alabama, college football pick. Here we go for action on Saturday. Arkansas is 2-4 and four after their 27-20 road defeat at Ole Miss. Razorbacks rushed for only 36 yards on 29 carries. They surrendered 196 rushing yards to the Rebels with 153 passing on 25 attempts. The team had a minus-2 turnover margin. K.J. Jefferson, 25 of 39 for 250 yards with two touchdowns and two picks. He averaged a season low of 6.4 yards per pass attempt. Alabama improved to 5 and 1, a 26 20 road victory at Texas AM. The Crimson Tide rushed for only 23 yards on 26 carries. They limited the Aggies to under 2 yards per rush with 239 passing yards on 25 attempts. Jalen Monroe completed 21 of 33 passes for 321 yards with 3 touchdowns, 1 interception. He averaged 9.7 yards per completion. He was sacked 6 times. Crimson Tide won last year's meeting 49 26 behind 555 yards. Razorbacks hit 112th in the nation in total offense, averaging 333 yards a game. Alabama 19th in total defense, holding teams to 3.1 yards per rush, 10.4 yards per completion, 6.1 yards per pass attempt. Arkansas is struggling to defend the pass, giving up big plays with 12.5 yards per completion, 7.8 yards per pass attempt. Play here, Alabama minus the 19. Iowa State and Cincinnati college football pick here for Saturday. Iowa State improved to 3-3, three three, a 27-14 home victory to TCU. Cyclones rushed for 215 yards. They allowed 185 yards on the ground of the Horned Frogs with 213 passing on 36 attempts. They had a plus-4 turnover margin with four interceptions. Rocco Beck hit on 16-28 passes, 138 yards and a touchdown. Cincinnati fell to 2-3 after their 35-27 road defeat two weeks ago to BYU. Bearcats had 242 yards rushing. They limited the Cougars to 70 yards uh, on the ground for under three yards a carry with 225 passing on 25 attempts. Emory Jones, 23 of 37 passing, 256 yards with three touchdowns and interception. He averaged 6.9 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 94 yards. One of his interceptions was returned for a BYU touchdown. Iowa State, 117th in total offense, gaining 323 yards a game. The, the passing game is inefficient. 10.7 yards per completion, 6.6 yards per pass attempt. Bearcats are defending the run well, holding opponents to 3.3 yards a carry. Cincinnati, 12th in total offense, 490 yards a game. A good rushing team that averages nearly 5 yards a carry. Cyclones in their road games have losses by 30 at Oklahoma. They were held to 7 points and a loss to a MAC team in Ohio. Play here Cincinnati, minus a 4. Ohio State and Purdue, college football pick. This one here on Saturday. All right, Ohio State improved to 5-0 after a 37-17 home victory in Maryland. Buckeyes rushed for 64 yards for two yards at carry. They held the Terrapins to three yards per run with 196 passing yards on 41 attempts. Common Accord, 19 of 29 for 320 yards with two touchdowns and 11 yards from pass attempt. They did have a plus two turnover margin in the game with an interception return for a touchdown. Leading running back Tyler Henderson missed the game, but is expected to play. He's listed as probable. Purdue fell to 2-4 and four after a 20-14 road defeat at Iowa. Boilermakers rushed for 96 yards on 40 carries. They allowed 
187 yards to the Hawkeyes with 110 passing on 21 attempts. Hudson Card, 25 of 40 for 247 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. He averaged 6.2 yards per pass attempt. Boilermakers are an experienced, inexperienced team entering this season with only five starters back on offense, 11 total. Buckeyes sit 37th in total offense, averaging 435 yards a game. They are a big play passing team with 14.8 yards per completion, 9.3 yards per pass attempt. Purdue struggling in both passing and running the football. Ohio State eighth in total defense, allowing just 4.1 yards per play, ranking fourth in that category in the nation. Purdue home losses of 15 to Syracuse, 21 to Wisconsin. Play here, Ohio State minus 20. Syracuse and Florida State college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Syracuse fell to four and two, <clears throat> a 40 to seven road defeat at North Carolina. Orange was down 27 zip at the half. The team rushed for 93 yards on 27 carries. They surrendered 202 yards rushing to the Tar Heels with 442 passing on 49 attempts. Garrett Schrader hit on 15 of 21 for 124 yards and an interception. He averaged 5.9 yards for pass attempt. Florida State 5-0 after their 39-17 home victory to Virginia Tech. Seminoles opened a 22-zip lead after one quarter. The team rushed for 282 yards. They surrendered 209 yards on the ground to the Hokies with 104 passing on 27 attempts. Jordan Travis, 18 of 24 passing for 170 yards and two touchdowns. He averaged 7.1 yards for pass attempt. Last year, FSU blew out Syracuse 38-3 on the road behind 420 yards to the Orange 160. You know, back-to-back -back road games for Syracuse. Their secondary has been torched in their past three Power 5 conference games against Clemson, North Carolina, and Purdue. Florida State does give up big plays this year in the passing game. They're allowing 13 yards for completion, 7 yards for pass attempt. Seminoles are rushing for 5.4 yards a carry. Plus, they're delivering big plays in the passing game with 13.4 yards per completion, 8.6 yards per pass attempt. Play here, Syracuse and Florida State over 56 and a half. Michigan State and Rutgers college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Michigan State fell to 2-3, a 26-16 road defeat two weeks ago to the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Spartans rushed for 156 yards. They held Iowa to just over two yards a carry with 161 passing on 32 attempts. Noah Kim, 25-44 of 44 for 193 yards and three interceptions. He averaged only 4.4 yards for pass attempt. Rutgers fell to 4 and 2, a 24 13 road defeat to Wisconsin. Scott Knights rushed for 72 yards for 3.5 yards of carry. They gave up 216 yards on the ground to the Badgers with 145 passing on 31 attempts. Gavin Wimsatz completed 16 of 35 for 181 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged only 5.2 yards per pass attempt. His interception was returned for a 95 yard touchdown. Rutgers has the 14th ranked total defense in college football by allowing 283 yards a game. The Spartans have committed nine turnovers in their past two games. That's concerning with Michigan State struggling on offense with 3.8 yards per rush, seven yards per pass attempt. Play here, Rutgers minus five and a half. Indiana versus a Michigan college football pick. This one here on Saturday. All right, Indiana fell to two and three after their 44-17 road defeat two weeks ago in Maryland. Hoosiers fell behind 27-3 at the half. They rushed for 116 yards for three yards to carry. The team surrendered 120 rushing yards to the Terrapins with 352 passing on 34 attempts. Tavon Jackson hit on 17 of 29 for 113 yards with an interception. He averaged only 3.9 yards per pass attempt. Michigan is 6-0 after their 52-10 road win at Minnesota. Wolverines rushed for 191 yards. They held the Golden Gophers to three yards per carry with 52 passing yards on 16 attempts. J.J. McCarthy was 14 of 20 for 219 yards and a touchdown. He averaged 11 yards per pass attempt and rushed for two touchdowns. Michigan had a plus two turnover margin. Wolverines are running for 5.1 yards a carry while the Hoosiers are giving up 4.9 yards per rush to opponents. Michigan is making big plays in the passing game with 9.9 .9 yards per pass attempt and 13.3 yards per completion. Indiana defense has given up big plays in the passing game by allowing 12.2 yards per completion, 7.2 yards per pass attempt. Indiana and Michigan, the play here over 49 and a half. Georgia Southern and James Madison uh, college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Georgia Southern proved a 4 and 1 after a 38 28 home victory to Coastal Carolina. That was two weeks ago. The Eagles rushed for 116 yards for nearly five yards a carry. They allowed. 
166 yards rushing to the Chanticleers with 299 passing on 39 attempts. The team had a plus four turnover margin behind picking off four passes. Davis Brin completed 34 of 56 for 322 yards with three touchdowns. He averaged 5.8 yards per pass attempt. James Madison 5-0, a 31-23 home victory two weeks ago to South Alabama. Dukes rushed for 136 yards. They limited the Jaguars to 27 rushing yards on 24 carries with 299 passing yards on 50 attempts. Jordan McLeod, 12 of 22 for 241 yards with three touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 11 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 61 yards. Last year, Georgia Southern posted the 45-38 home win behind 590 yards. James Madison gained 675 yards in the loss. The Eagles sit 17th in total offense, averaging 471 yards a game, 4.9 yards a run. The Dukes are giving up big plays in the passing game. They're giving up 13.5 yards per reception, 8 yards per pass attempt. James Madison's averaging 402 yards a game. They're a big play passing team. Georgia Southern does allow big plays in the, against them in the passing game, giving up 12 yards per completion, 7.3 yards per pass attempt. The play here, Georgia Southern, James Madison, over 58 and a half. Georgia and Vanderbilt college football pick for action on Saturday. Georgia improved to 6-0, a 51-13 home victory to Kentucky. Bulldogs built the 34-7 lead at the half. They rushed for 173 yards. The team limited the Wildcats to 55 yards rushing for just over two yards to carry with 128 passing on 26 attempts. Carson Beck, 28 of 35 for 389 yards with four touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 11 yards per pass attempt. Career high numbers across the board here. Vanderbilt fouled a 2-5, a 38-14 road defeat to Florida Gators. Commodores rushed for 64 yards for just over three yards to carry. They gave up 215 yards rushing to the Gators with 280 passing on 41 attempts. A.J. Swan missed the past two weeks with an elbow injury but expected to start on the season. He completes 53% of his passes with 7.2 yards per pass attempt. Ken Seal started last week hitting 19 of 34 for 276 yards, two touchdowns, and eight yards per pass attempt. Seals the past two weeks on the stat line is making a case as a starter. Dating back to last season, the Commodores have failed to cover eight straight. They met the past two seasons. Here are the scores. Georgia winning 55 zip last year, 62 nothing two years ago. The Bulldogs hit eighth in total offense, averaging 502 yards a game. Vandy's given up 411 yards a game sitting 111th in the nation, along with 6.1 yards per play. Georgia 11th in total defense, holding teams to 269 yards a game. They're giving up just 3.7 yards per rush, 4.8 yards per pass attempt. Play here, Georgia, minus 31 and a half. Kent and Eastern and Michigan in college football pick. Here we go for action on Saturday. Kent fell to 1-5 after a 42-17 road defeat at Ohio. Golden Flashers rushed for 109 yards for three yards a carry. They surrendered 166 yards rushing to the Bobcats with 300 passing on 32 attempts. Michael Alimo hit on 9 of 13 for 107 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 8.2 yards per pass attempt. Eastern Michigan improved to 3-3, three three, a 24-10 home victory to Ball State. Eagles rushed for 61 yards for less than two yards a carry. They surrendered 148 yards rushing to the Cardinals with 148 passing on 35 attempts. The team had a plus two turnover margin. Austin Smith, 18 of 28 passing, 192 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 6.9 yards per completed pass and was sacked five times. Kent has the least experience of any team in college football. On the road, the Golden Flashes are held to just 9.8 yards a game. The team is 130th in total offense by averaging 262 yards a game. Eagles have won all three home games, averaging 25 points a game with 300 yards. EMU has covered both conference games. To respect their home performance last week against Ball State, play here Eastern Michigan, minus the 10. Temple and North Texas college football pick. Here we go for Saturday's action. Temple fell at 2-4 after their 49-34 home defeat to UTSA. Alice rushed for 70 yards for just over two yards of carry. They surrendered 157 rushing yards to the Roadrunners with 338 passing on 33 attempts. The Owls had a minus two turnover margin. E.J. Warner, 42 of 65 for 472 yards and five touchdowns. He averaged 7.3 yards per pass attempt. North Carolina fell to two and three. A 27-24 row win at Navy. Mean Green rushed for 206 yards. They did allow 335 yards rushing to Navy for six yards a carry. The team had a minus two turnover margin. Chandler Rogers hit on 22 of 32 for 267 yards and a touchdown. He averaged 8.3 yards per attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Mean Green, 132nd in total defense by allowing 
482 yards a game. They are allowing alarming 5.9 yards per rush with 13 yards per completion and 7.7 .7 yards per pass attempt. Temple, high volume passing team averaging 46 passes per game. North Texas sits 19th in total offense averaging 467 yards a game. Temple defense 113th by allowing 424 yards a game. The Owls are giving up nearly 5 yards a carry on the ground. 14 yards per completion, 9 yards per pass attempt. Play here at Temple in North Texas over 70 and a half. Oregon versus Washington College football pick. This one here, Saturday. Oregon 5 0 after their 42 6 road win at Stanford two weeks ago. Ducks rush for 208 yards in the game. Uh, they limited the Cardinal to 89 yards on the ground for under two yards. They carry 133 passing on 24 attempts. Bull Nicks 27 32 for 290 yards with four touchdowns. He averaged 9.1 yards per pass attempt. Washington 5 0, 831 24 road win at Arizona. Huskies rush for 111 yards for just over four yards of carry. They limited the Wildcats to 3.5 yards per rush, 232 passing on 39 attempts. Michael Penix, 30 of 40 passing for 363 yards, 9.1 yards per pass. Washington won last year's meeting, 37-34 behind 522 yards. But Oregon gained 589 yards in defeat. Washington is the number one offense in college football. Oregon sits number two. The Ducks sit sixth in total defense, allowing 255 yards a game, 3.2 yards per rush, 7.9 yards per completion, just 4.8 yards per pass attempt. The Ducks look beatable, though, at Texas Tech. Need a late field goal to win, and they patted it up with a, with a pick six in the closing seconds. They gave up 282 passing yards to the Red Raiders player, Washington, minus the three. California versus Utah college football pick. This one here on Saturday, Cal Fouta, 3 and 3, a 52 to 40 home defeat to Oregon State. The Golden Bears rushed for 241 yards. They allowed 203 yards on the ground of the Beavers with 296 passing on 28 attempts. Fernando Mendoza, 21 to 32 passing for 207 yards with two touchdowns and an interception. He ran for 41 yards. The freshman sits at six foot five inches uh, tall here. Uh, dual threat abilities. Utah fell to four and one. A 21 to 17 road defeat two weeks ago at Oregon State. Utes ran for only 57 yards. They allowed. 131 yards on the ground to the Beavers with 227 passing on 26 attempts. Cameron Rising continues to be listed as questionable as he recovers some major knee surgery following the Rose Bowl last year. Nate Johnson, 8 of 23 passing for 101 yards and a touchdown. He averaged 4.4 yards per pass attempt. Third stringer Bryson Barnes was injured and out. The fourth stringer is doubtful, so Johnson can be the only healthy option here. Cal has run the football effectively, 5.1 yards to carry, but Utah, well, stout defensively. Uh, Utah here, they sit... Uh, Though 127th in total offense, just 297 yards a game. They run for 3.54 yards a carry, only 6.5 yards per pass attempt. Golden Bears are defending the run while well, Mendoza looks like an upgraded quarterback. Player California plus 14. Illinois versus Maryland college football pick. Here we go on Saturday. Illinois fell to 2 and 4, a 20 to 7 home defeat to Nebraska. Final line I rushed for only 21 yards on 19 carries. They allowed 159 yards rushing at the corner with 154 passing on 24 attempts. Luke Altmeyer hit on 29 of 47 passing for 289 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 6.1 yards per pass attempt. Illinois top running back Reggie Love doubtful when their RB2 is out for the season. Maryland fouled a 5-1, a 37-17 row win at Ohio State. Terrapins get outscored 27-7 in the second half. That team rushed for 106 yards. For three yards of carry, they limit the Buckeyes to under two yards of carry with 320 passing on 29 attempts. Maryland had a minus two turnover margin to a tag level below up. Completed 21 of 41 passes for 196 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. He averaged only 4.8 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Illinois is struggling in the passing game, just 11.4 yards per completion, 7.2 yards per attempt. Their run game is just in trouble with injuries. Uh, and that's pretty much how this team was built to run the run the football. The Terrapins defense holding opponents to only 337 yards a game, but Illinois 102nd in the nation in total defense, allowing 401 yards a game. Maryland home averaging 478 yards a game, 5.2 yards per rush, 13.4 yards per completion, 8.8 yards per completed pass. Illinois defense on the road has been very poor against the run and pass player Maryland at minus the 14.
Navy and Charlotte's college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Navy 2-3 and three after their 27-24 home victory in North Texas. Minutemen rushed for 335 yards for over 6 yards at carry. They allowed 260 yards on the ground. The Mean Green with 267 passing on 33 attempts. The midshipmen had a plus 2 turnover margin. Ty Lavate completed 4 of 8 passes for 75 yards and a touchdown. He rushed for 28 yards on 3 carries. Blake Horvath is out with a thumb injury, so Lavatai is back as a starter. Charlotte fell to 1-4, a 34-16 road defeat two weeks ago to SMU. 49ers rushed for 167 yards for nearly 4 yards a carry. They surrendered 228 yards on the ground in the Mustangs with 135 passing. Jalen Jones, 9-15 passes for 57 yards, only 3.8 yards per attempt. He rushed for 55 yards. Now, Trex, Trexler Ivy saw action with Jones benching and Khalid set 10-17 for 107 yards and interception. He averaged 6.3 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Both could see action here, but Charlotte allowing 4.4 yards per rush as Navy's producing 5.1 yards to carry on the ground with their rushing attack. And they can strike downfield with the pass on occasion. 15.3 yards per completion, 7.6 yards per pass attempt, so big plays when they throw. 49ers give up big plays in the passing game. They give up 13 yards per completion, over 9 yards per pass attempt. Charlotte 121st uh, offensively here with struggles in rushing and, and uh, throwing the football. Play here, Navy minus 3. Toledo and Ball State college football pick here for Saturday. Toledo improved to 5-1 after their 41-24 uh, road win here at uh, UMass. The Rockets rushed for 375 yards in the game. They did allow 167 yards rushing to the Minutemen for over 5 yards to carry, along with 272 passing on 31 attempts to Quan Finn, 15-23 for 139 yards with two touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 6 yards for pass attempt and ran for 172 yards and a touchdown. Ball State 1-5 after their 24-10 road defeat at Eastern Michigan. Cardinals rushed for 148 yards for nearly 5 yards of their attempt. They held the Eagles to under 2 yards a carry with 192 yards passing on 28 attempts. Ball State had a minus 2 turnover margin. Lane Hatcher, 20 of 33 passing for 132 yards with a touchdown. He averaged 4 yards per pass attempt. Ball State in their 5 losses have lost by 14 points or worse. The Rockets, 15th in the nation in total offense as they gained 474 yards with 7 yards per play. They are running for 6.1 yards per attempt and make plays downfield in the passing game with 12.8 yards per pass attempt, 8.4 yards, I'm sorry, 8.4 yards per completion, 8.4 yards per pass attempt. The Cardinals are giving up really big plays in the passing game. They said 126 is ranked offensively in the nation. They run for just 3.5 yards a carry in the passing game, 9.6 yards per completion, just 5.9 per pass attempt. Play your Toledo minus the 17. Massachusetts versus Penn State college football pick. This one here on Saturday. UMass fell to 1-6, a 41-24 home defeat to Toledo. Minutemen rushed for 167 yards for just over 5 yards at carry. They surrendered 375 yards rushing to the Rockets with 139 passing. Tyson Famachan hit on 20 of 31 passing for 272 yards with two touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 8.8 .8 yards from bats attempt. Penn State sits at 5-0 after their 41-13 road win at Northwestern. Nanny Lions rushed for 134 yards for just over 3 yards at carry. They limit the Wildcats to 45 rushing yards on 32 attempts with 130 passing on 31 passing attempts. Jewel R, 18 of 33 passing for 189 yards and a touchdown. He averaged just 5.7 yards for pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Penn State top defense in college football holding teams here to 210 yards a game. Penn State not getting big plays downfield, just 10.8 yards for pass completion, 6.8 yards for pass attempt. Penn State runs at high volume, so scoring will be lower than expected. UMass will struggle offensively against this Nitton Lion defense. Player UMass and Penn State under 56. Texas A&M and Tennessee college football pick for Saturday. Texas A&M fell to 4-2 after a 26-20 home defeat to Alabama Crimson Tide. Aggies get outscored 16-3 in the second half. They rushed for 67 yards for under 2 yards a carry on defense. They limit the Crimson Tide to under 1 yard per rush with 321 yards passing on 4-3 attempts. Max Johnson, 14 of 25 passing for 239 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 9.6 yards per pass attempt. Tennessee improved to 4-1, a 41-20 home victory two weeks ago to South Carolina. Volunteers rushed for 238 yards. They allowed 132 yards rushing in the Gamecocks with 27 carries with 201 passing on 36 attempts. 
Joe Milton, 21 to 32. 239 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. He averaged 7.5 yards per pass attempt. Tennessee had a 13-point loss at Florida as the Gators rushed for 100, as they rushed against them for uh, 183 yards here. For, uh, the, uh, the Gators did rush for that amount. Aggies are running for 4.4 yards to carry, getting good production from their passing attack. Texas A&M 10th in total defense, allowing 269 yards a game, 2.6 yards per rush, only 55% completion rate with 7.5 yards per attempt. Milton has three interceptions in his two SEC games, and the team has committed turnover in every game. Play your Texas A&M here at plus the three and a half. BYU and TCU college football pick. Here we go for action Saturday. BYU improved a 5-1, a 35-27 home win to Cincinnati two weeks ago. The Cougars rushed for 70 yards on 28 carries. They allowed 242 yards rushing to the Bearcats with 256 passing on 37 attempts. BYU had a plus-2 turnover margin. Keenan Slovis hit on 13 of 24 for 223 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 9.3 yards per pass attempt. TCU fell to 3-3, a 27-14 road defeat at Iowa State. Horned Frogs rushed for 185 yards. They surrendered 215 uh, on the ground to the Cyclones with 138 passing yards on 28 attempts. Horned Frogs had a minus 4 turnover margin, and they threw 4 interceptions. Josh Hoover hit on 11-19 for 119 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 6.3 yards from pass attempt. The freshman quarterback takes over for an injured Chandler Morris. Got to respect the Cougars' win in Arkansas. Two straight losses for the Horned Frogs with struggles offensively. A quarterback change due to injury. The concern for TCU, they are struggling in pass defense, giving up big plays by allowing 12.7 yards per completion, 7.2 yards per pass attempt. Play here will be on BYU at plus the six. Miami, Ohio, and Western Michigan college football pick for action Saturday. Miami, Ohio improved a 5-1 after their 27-0 home victory to Bowling Green. The Red Hawks rushed for 186 yards for 3.5 yards a carry. They limited the Falcons to 63 rushing yards on 19 carries, along with 72 passing yards on 23 attempts. Blaine Gabbert hit on 15 of 18 passes for 170 yards, two touchdowns. He averaged 9.4 yards per pass attempt. Western Michigan fell to 2-4 after their 41-28 home defeat to Mississippi State. The Broncos rushed for 116 yards for just under four yards a carry. Now, uh, in this game, um, in this one, we're going to get to here in just a second here. I'm going to get my notes uh, squared away here. <clears throat> of course, uh, they allowed 194 yards on the ground. The Bulldogs, 264 pass, 246 passing on 30 tips. Trayson Bourget missed the game due to an undisclosed injury and, the, and is questionable here. You know, Jack Solopec completed 6 of 10 passes for 35 yards, 3.5 yards for pass attempt. Hayden Wolf saw work hitting 27 of 35 for 262 yards with three touchdowns and one interception. He averaged 7.5 yards for pass attempt. Wolf, based on performance, a likely starter. Broncos have won seven straight against the Red Hawks. You know, the performance of Wolf is encouraging here. The Old Dominion transfer averaged 7.3 yards per pass attempt, and in his 22 games uh, over his past two seasons. The Broncos have played a tough schedule player, Western Michigan, here at plus the 8.5. Troy and Army College football pick for action on Saturday. Troy improved a 4-2 after their 37-3 home victory to Arkansas State. Trojans rushed for 351 yards. They out the Red was to 47 yards rushing for under 2 yards a carry the, uh, with 156 passing on 27 attempts. Gunnar Watson hit on 12-21 of 21 for 236 yards with a touchdown and 11.2 yards for pass attempt. Army fell to 2-3, a 27-24 home defeat to Boston College Eagles. Black Knights rushed for 161 yards for 5 yards a carry. They surrendered 299 yards on the ground. The Eagles with 73 passing on 9 attempts. Bryson Daly hit 10 of 13 for 105 yards with a touchdown and 8.1 yards for pass attempt. He ran for 99 yards. Troy won last year's meeting 10 to 9 behind 265 yards of offense. Trojans hit 31st in total offense behind 
444 yards a game. They are rushing for 4.9 yards a carry and deliver big plays in the passing game with 13.5 yards per completion, 8.3 yards per pass attempt. Army defensively surrenders 4.3 yards per rush. Troy sits 15th in total defense, allowing 286 yards a game and 2.9 yards per rush. You know, when Army throws, they do make big plays in the passing games. The Trojans have failed to cover four of six. The losses came at Kansas State by 29 and James Madison by two with struggles running the football. Play here, Army at plus the four and a half. Bowling Green and Buffalo College football pick. Here we go for action on Saturday. Bowling Green fouled a 2-4, a 27-zip road defeat to Miami. Oh, the Falcons rushed for 63 yards on 19 carries. They allowed 186 yards on the ground of the Red Hawks with 170 passing on 18 attempts. Connor Baselick hit on 8-17 of 17 for 64 yards and an interception. He averaged 3.8 yards per pass attempt. Buffalo improved to 2-4, a 37-13 home victory to Central Michigan. Bulls rushed for 123 yards for 3.5 yards a carry. They limit the Chippewas to 85 yards on, uh, on the ground here on 25 carries, 280 passing on 49 attempts. Cole Snyder, 20 of 32 for 232 yards. He averaged 7.3 yards per pass attempt. Bulls had a plus four turnover margin and returned two interceptions for a touchdown. Buffalo has won five of six against the Falcons. Bowling Green sits 125th in total offense, averaging just 303 yards a game. Struggles in the passing game, averaging 10.8 yards per completion, 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Falcons have issues in pass defense as well, surrendering 13.4 yards per completed pass, 9 yards per pass attempt. Bulls have covered 21 of 35 as a home favorite. Falcons' uh, past three games have averaged just 15 points a game. Play here, Buffalo minus the 4.5. Akron versus Central Michigan College football pick for Saturday. Akron fouled a 1-5 with their 55-14 home defeat to Northern Illinois. The Zips rushed for 107 yards on 41 carries. They gave up 380 yards rushing to the Huskies with 191 passing on 17 attempts. Taj Bullock completed 19 of 34 passes for 146 yards with a touchdown and interception. He rushed for a touchdown. Starter DJ Irons is out for the season. With an ACL injury, he was a playmaker uh, at quarterback, a running style quarterback as well. Virginia Tech transfer got the nod over over the QB a two here in Jeff Undercuffler. So uh, that's going to be the situation here. <clears throat> Bullock at at under center. Central Michigan fell a three and three, a 37-13 road defeat at Buffalo. Chippewas were held to 80 yards rushing for just over three yards a carry. They surrendered 123 yards on the ground of the Bulls with 232 passing on 32 attempts. Jace Bauer completed 28 of 49 for 280 yards and two touchdowns, also threw three picks. He averaged 5.7 yards for pass attempt and had two interceptions returned for touchdowns. Starting quarterback Bernie Manuel is probable and expected to practice this week. Emmanuel in three starts completed 51% of his passes, 7.7 .7 yards for pass attempt. He has three touchdowns, three picks, and rushed for two touchdowns. CMU has won 9 of 10 against Akron. Zips, they sit 128th in the nation in total offense by averaging just 296 yards per, uh, per game. 3.4 yards per rush. They are near the bottom of the nation with 8.5 yards per pass completion, 5.4 yards per pass attempt. Chippewas do better offensively on the ground and, and through the air. Zips quarterback situation, a massive concern with Irons out. Play here, Central Michigan, minus the 12. Wake Forest versus a West Virginia college football pick. Here we go for action on Saturday, Wake Forest fell to 3-2 with their 17-12 road defeat at Clemson. Demon Deacons rushed for 102 yards for under 3 yards at carry. They surrendered 207 yards rushing to the Tigers with 131 passing on 28 attempts. Mitch Griffiths hit on 15-25 for 137 yards and 5.5 yards for pass attempt. Virginia Tech dropped to 2-4, a 39-17 road defeat at Florida State. Hokies fell behind 22 zip after one quarter. The team rushed for 209 yards. They surrendered 282 yards rushing to the Seminoles with 170 passing on 25 attempts. Tyrone Drones hit on 14 of 27 passes for 104 yards and only 3.9 yards per pass attempt. He did rush for 80 yards. Both teams ran at high volume. Virginia Tech has been poor stopping the run, allowing 5.3 yards per attempt. 
Hokey is 103rd in total offense, averaging 5 yards per play. That's 117th in the nation. These are both running teams. The Hokies are very poor at stopping the run. Play here, Wake Forest, plus 1.5. Florida at South Carolina college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Florida improved to 4-2 with their 38-14 home victory of Anvil. The Gators rushed for 215 yards. They held the Commodores just over 3 yards per rush with 276 yards passing on 34 attempts. Graham uh, Burtz hit on 30 of, of 36 passes for 254 yards, 3 touchdowns. He averaged 7.1 yards per pass attempt. South Carolina fell at 2-3, a 41-20 road defeat at Tennessee. Uh, the Gamecocks had 132 yards rushing for five yards of carry, but they surrendered 238 yards rushing to the Volunteers with 239 passing on 32 attempts. South Carolina surrendered six sacks. Spencer Rather hit on 24 of 25 passes for 169 yards and an interception. He averaged 4.8 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Florida's lost both road games by double digits, and Utah utilized a backup quarterback. Kentucky ran all over the Gators. Florida is running for only 1.6 yards to carry on the road. At home, the Gamecocks put up Gamecocks put up uh, 432 yards on Mississippi State. Play here, South Carolina, minus the two. FAU and USF college football pick for action on Saturday. FAU improved to 3-2, a 20-17 home victory to Tulsa. The Owls rushed for 241 yards. They allowed 194 yards on the ground at the Golden Hurricane with 182 passing on 28 attempts. Daniel Richardson completed 18 of 28 uh, passes for 144 yards and an interception. He averaged 5.1 yards per pass attempt. USF fell to 3-3, a 56-35 road defeat to UAB. The Bulls had 211 yards rushing, but they allowed 253 yards on the ground uh, to the Blazers with 355 passing on 29 attempts. They had a minus two turnover margin. Byron Brown hit on 24 of 43 passes for 260 yards with 200 touchdowns, two interceptions. He rushed for 136 yards and two touchdowns. USF at home is a 13 point win to Rice and has really good defensive effort in the 17 3 defeat to Alabama. FAU, not an efficient passing team, 9.1 yards per completion, 5.5 yards per pass attempt. South Florida, 31st in total offense, averaging 444 yards a game with more efficiency in the passing attack. The Owls lost both road games and in their six-point loss at Downey, Illinois. They allowed 303 yards passing and 256 yards on the ground. Player USF minus a two and a half. Kansas and Oklahoma State college football pick. Here we go Saturday. Kansas improved to 5-1 with their 51-22 road victory to UCF. The Jayhawks rushed for 399 yards. They did allow 102 yards rushing to the Knights with 169 passing on 23 attempts. Jalen Daniels doubtful with that back injury. Jason Bean filled in 8 of 12 passing for 91 yards and a touchdown. Wasn't asked to do a lot. Kansas just ran the ball like crazy. Oklahoma, City, Oklahoma State here 3-2. A 29-21 home victory to Kansas State. Cowboys rushed for 174 yards. They did allow the Wildcats 220 yards on the ground with 152 passing yards on 34 attempts. Oklahoma State had a plus three turnover margin, picking off three touchdowns and returning one for a touchdown. Allen Ballman completed 19 of 35 passes for 235 yards. He averaged 6.7 yards per pass attempt. The Kansas offensive line is bearing opposing defenses. The Jayhawks rushed for six yards to carry. Cowboys gave up 154 rushing yards. Uh, per game and uh, give up 4.3 yards per rush. Cowboys gave up 243 yards rushing to South Alabama in a 33-7 home defeat. They have struggled passing the football, averaging 10.1 yards per completion, 5.7 yards per pass attempt, ranking near the bottom of college football. Kansas has been efficient in pass defense play here. Kansas minus three. Iowa and Wisconsin college football pick. Here we go. Action on Thursday. Iowa improved to 5-1, and one, a 20-14 home victory to Purdue. The Hawkeyes rushed for 181 yards. They limited the Boilermakers to 2.5 yards per rush 
with 247 passing yards on 40 attempts. Deacon Hill, 6 of 21 passing for 110 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 5.2 yards per pass attempt. No passes were completed to receivers. Wisconsin improved to 4-1 with a 24-13 home victory to Rutgers. Badgers built that 17-zip halftime lead. They posted 212 rushing yards. Wisconsin limited the Scarlet Knights to under 3 yards to carry with 211 yards passing for, on 38 attempts. Tanner Mordecai completed 17 of 31 passes for 145 yards with a touchdown. He averaged only 4.7 yards per pass attempt and had 49 rushing yards. Wisconsin had an 11 turnover margin uh, plus a, a, a turnover margin of return and interception 95 yards. Sorry, Wisconsin had a minus one turnover margin but did return an interception 95 yards for a touchdown. Iowa is 132nd in total offense, averaging just 249 yards a game. They averaged only 3.8 yards per rush, 5.3 yards per pass attempt. Badgers defending the run and pass well. Iowa holds opponents to 4.3 yards uh, per play, uh, which uh, ranks 8th best in the nation. Uh, the play here will be Iowa and Wisconsin under 34 and a half. Ohio versus Northern Illinois college football pick for Saturday. Ohio improved to 5-1, a 42-17 home victory to Kent. The Bobcats rushed for 166 yards. They allowed 3 yards per rush to the Golden Flashes with 119 passing yards on 20 attempts. Curtis Rourke hit on 20 of 32 passes for 300 yards, 9 touchdowns, and 3 touchdowns, I should say. He averaged 9.4 yards per pass attempt with a rush and touchdown. Northern Illinois improved to 2-4, a 55-14 road victory to Akron. The Huskies rushed for 380 yards. They limited the zips to under 3 yards at carry with 146 passing yards on 34 attempts. Rocky Lumpar hit on 10 of 15 passes for 191 yards with 2 touchdowns. He averaged 12.7 yards for a completed pass. The offensive performance has picked up for Northern Illinois in conferences. They're averaging 507 yards and 44 points a game. Now they play their first home game in conference. Ohio on the road putting up just under 23 points a game. NIU is defending well, holding teams to 313 yards a game play here in Northern Illinois, plus the six and a half. UNLV and Nevada college football pick Saturday. UNLV improved here to 4 and 1, a 44 to 20 home victory to Hawaii. Rebels rushed for 307 yards. They limited the Warriors to under two yards per carry with 313 passing yards on 35 attempts. They had a plus two turnover margin. Jaden Maivaya, Maiva completed 11 and 21 passes for 142 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 6.8 yards per pass attempt. Nevada fell to 0-5, a 20-79 road defeat two weeks ago at Fresno State. Wolfpack rushed for, 150, for 53 yards on 31 carries. They surrendered 141 yards rushing to the Bulldogs with 269 passing on 34 attempts. Brandon Lewis completed 10 of 21 passes for 70 yards and two interceptions. Uh, he averaged 3.3 yards per pass attempt. The Wolfpack covered it at home to Kansas, dropping a seven-point decision, rushing for 150 yards. Rebels would give up nearly 400 yards a game, really struggling with pass defense, allowing 14.8 yards per completion, 8.8 yards per attempt. Rivalry game will take the home dog here based on their own FBS game here. Player Nevada here at plus the 9.5. San Jose State and New Mexico college football pick for Saturday. San Jose State fell to 1-5 uh, with their 35-27 road defeat to Boise State. The Spartans built a 27-14 halftime lead, but got scored 21 zip in the second half. They rushed for 140 yards for nearly 4 yards a carry. San Jose State allowed 262 yards rushing to the Broncos with 230 passing on 24 attempts. They had a plus 2 turnover margin. Chavon Cordero, 23-38 passes for 325 yards and an interception. He averaged 8.6 yards per pass attempt and a rushing touchdown. New Mexico dropped to 2-3, a 35-26 road defeat to Wyoming. Lobos rushed for 225 yards. They allowed 239 yards to the Cowboys' rushing game with 194 passing on 25 attempts. Dylan Hopkins, 15 of uh, 12 31 passing for 162 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 5.2 yards per pass attempt. Lobos are coming off the bye week. Both teams are allowing 5.3 yards to carry on the ground. Lobos run effectively, averaging 5.3 yards to carry. San Jose State uh, on the run game, generating 4.8 yards to carry. Both secondaries are giving up big plays in the passing game. 
But these run games will open up some big plays against the secondaries play here at San Jose State and New Mexico, New Mexico to go over 58. Louisville and uh, Pittsburgh college football pick. Here we go for Saturday. Uh, Louisville moves a 6-0, a 33-20 home victory to Notre Dame. Cardinals rushed for 105, 185 yards. They limited the fighting Irish under two yards a carry with 254 passing on 38 attempts. Jack Plummer, 17 of 24 for 145 yards with a touchdown and six yards per pass attempt. Pittsburgh drops to 1-4, a 38-21 road defeat to Virginia Tech. Panthers rushed for only 38 yards on 24 carries. They surrendered 19 rushing yards to the Hokies with 228 passing on 19 attempts. Christian Avelo, a Penn State transfer who saw limited action the past two seasons uh, in there. He went 7 of 18 for 85 yards and had two interceptions in defeat. He averaged just 4.7 yards for passing. Phil Djokovic had been benched due to ineffectiveness. Louisville is 20th in total offense and sits 10th by averaging 7.1 yards per play there. Pittsburgh is 20th in total defense, give up 301 yards a game. You know, watching Louisville's offense in their lone true road game at NC State really makes it tough to back here, especially laying over a touchdown. Cardinals rush for only 20 yards on 29 carries in that road performance. Play here, Pittsburgh plus the 7.5. UL Monroe and Texas State college football pick for Saturday. Hugh Monroe drops at 2-3 after their 55-7 home defeat to South Alabama. Warhawks rushed for 138 yards for over 4 yards a carry. They surrendered 202 yards rushing to the Jaguars with 387 passing on 39 attempts. It was a minus 2 turnover margin for UL Monroe. Quarterback Hunter Herring is doubtful. Jaya Wright completed 13 of 28 passes for 112 yards with a touchdown and 2 interception. He averaged 4 yards per pass attempt and had 53 yards rushing. The Warhawks had a minus 2 turnover margin. Texas State moves to 4-2, a 34-30 road defeat to Louisiana. Bobcats rushed for 204 yards. They surrendered 218 yards on the ground in the Raging Cajuns with 205 passing on 17 attempts. T.J. Finley, 30 of 40, passing for 326 yards, two interceptions, and an interception. Two touchdowns and an interception, I should say. He averaged 8.2 yards per pass attempt. Yeoman Road defends, uh, defense here is a concern. They said 127th in the nation in allowing 455 yards a game. Texas State's defense, 114th in college football, allowing 430 yards a game. You know, behind Jaya Wright, the Warhawks did put up 40 points on App State. The player Yeoman Road and Texas State over 64. Kansas State and Texas Tech college football pick. This one here, Saturday, Kansas State is 3-2 after their 29-21 road defeat to Oklahoma State Cowboys. Their Wildcats rushed for 220 yards for 5.5 yards per rush. They surrendered 174 yards on the ground to the Cowboys with 238 passing on 36 attempts. Kansas State had a minus 3 turnover margin. Will Howard completed 15-34 passing for 152 yards with a touchdown and 3 interceptions. One pick was returned for a Cowboys touchdown. He averaged 4.5 yards for pass attempt and rushed for 104 yards with a touchdown. Texas Tech 3-3 three three with their 39-14 road win at Baylor Bears. Red Raiders rushed for 186 yards for 4.5 yards per rush. They limited the Bears to 17 rushing yards on 30 carries with 324 passing on 38 attempts. Maren Morton completed 19-26 passes for 180 yards with three touchdowns and a pick. He averaged 6.9 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Kansas State has dropped both road games with struggles defending the pass by allowing 297 yards, nearly 14 yards for completion, 8.2 yards for pass attempt. Disrespect 174 rushing yards and 282 yards passing the Red Raiders put on Oregon. Play here, Texas Tech, minus one and a half. Marshall and Georgia State college football pick. Here we go. Saturday's action. Marshall fell here to 4-1 with a 48-41 road defeat to NC State. The Green Herd rushed for 104 yards for under 3 yards a carry. They allowed 136 rushing yards to the Wolfpack with 265 passing on 32 attempts. Each team committed 3 turnovers. Cam Fancher completed 29 of 51 passes for 315 yards with 2 touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 6.2 yards for pass attempt and rushed for 2 touchdowns. The Green Herd picked off 3 passes and returned 1 for a touchdown. Georgia State found a 4-1 with their 28-7 home defeat to Troy Trojans. Panthers rushed for 105 yards on 31 carries. They surrendered 
154 yards on the ground of the Trojans with 256 passing yards on 30 attempts. Each team had two turnovers. Darren Granger, 19-29, passing for 193 yards with two interceptions. He averaged 6.7 yards for pass attempt. They're heard one last year's meeting, 28-33. Uh, uh, 30, Marshall is a high-volume passing team. The Panthers struggled defending the pass by allowing 12.6 yards per completion, 8.1 yards per pass attempt. The Iron Herd is strong in pass defense by allowing 10.2 yards per completion, 5.3 yards per pass attempt. Uh, Marshall's major weakness here is in run defense. They're giving up 5.5 yards a carry. Georgia State runs at high volume. They're averaging 4.4 yards per attempt. We'll put the check mark here on the home team here based on their running and the Thundering Herd. Sitting 120th ranked in rushing yards per carry allowed. Play here, Georgia State, minus the one. Arizona and Washington State college football pick. Here we go for Saturday. Arizona fell at 3-3, a 43-41 road defeat in triple overtime to the USC Trojans. The Wildcats blew a second quarter 17-zip lead. They gained 203 yards rushing on 42 attempts. Arizona uh, surrendered 146 rushing yards to the Trojans with 219 passing on 25 attempts. Jordan Delora is a game-time decision and has missed the past two games with a calf injury. Noah Fafita completed 25 or 35 passes for 303 yards with five touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 8.7 yards for pass attempt. Washington State dropped to 4-1 after their 25-17 road defeat to the UCLA Bruins. The Cougars rushed for only 12 yards on 19 carries. They surrendered 181 rushing yards to the Bruins with 290 passing on 44 attempts. Cougars committed four turnovers and picked off two passes on defense. Cameron Ward hit a 19 of 39 for 197 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. He averaged just 5.1 yards per, per pass attempt the worst of the season. The Cougars receiving core are banged up. The Wildcats are 33rd in total offense by averaging 442 yards a game. They're running for 5.1 yards a carry. Washington State 101st in the nation in total defense. They're giving up 400 yards a game. The Wildcats defend well, limiting opponents to 349 yards with 3.2 yards per carry. Play here, Arizona, plus the 7.5. Auburn and LSU college football pick. Here we go for Saturday. Auburn fell to 3-2 and two after their 27-20 home defeat to the Georgia Bulldogs. The team rushed for 219 yards on 43 carries. They limited the, uh, the Bulldogs to 107 yards on the ground for 3.5 yards a carry, along with 313 passing yards on 33 attempts. Peyton Thorne, 10 of 19 passing for 82 yards and an interception. He averaged only 4.3 yards for pass attempt and rushed for 92 yards. Auburn comes off a of bye week. LSU improved to 4-2, a 49-39 road win at Missouri Tigers. The team rushed for 274 yards. They allowed 116 yards on the ground to the Missouri Tigers with 411 passing on 47 attempts. Jaden Daniels, 15 of 21 passing for 259 yards and three touchdowns. He averaged 12.3 yards for pass attempt and rushed for 130 yards uh, with a touchdown. LSU, 125th in total defense, give up 446 yards a game, five yards a carry along with 13.4 yards per reception, 8.2 yards per pass attempt. Auburn 25th in total defense. They hold opponents at 10.6 yards per completion, 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Play here Auburn plus the 11. Wyoming and Air Force college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Wyoming improved a 5-1 with their 24-19 home victory to Fresno State. The Cowboys rushed for 130 yards for over 3.5 yards a carry. They limited the Bulldogs to just 38 rushing yards on 20 carries and 286 passing with 48 attempts. Andrew Peasley hit a 19-27 passes for 183 yards with three touchdowns. He rushed for 6.8 yards per pass attempt. Air Force is 5-0 after their 49-10 home victory to two weeks ago. The San Diego State Aztecs, the Falcons rushed for 287 yards for 6 yards a carry. They limited the Aztecs to 3.5 yards per rush with 122 passing on 25 attempts. Zach Larrier hit on 6 of 7 passes for 189 yards and 2 touchdowns. He rushed for 103 yards. Air Force is holding opponents at 2.7 yards per rush. Wyoming has success running the football with 4.9 yards a carry. The Cowboys, though, are an inefficient passing team. The Falcons hit second in total defense in college football by allowing 224 yards a game. Air Force attempts an average of four passes a game and runs it at high volume for 5.4 yards a carry. 
The Cowboys allow 4.2 yards per rush. Wyoming, you know, lost their only road game to Texas, 31-10, but limited the Longhorns to 316 yards. The Cowboys won last year's meeting 17-14, behind a balance of 342 yards of offense. They'll respect the Cowboys' defensive performance here against Fresno State as well. Play here will be on Wyoming, plus the 11 and a half. USC and Notre Dame college football pick. Here we go on Saturday. USC improved a 6-0, a 43-41 home victory to Arizona Wildcats. The Trojans rushed for 146 yards for over 4.5 yards a carry. They allowed the Wildcats 203 rushing yards for nearly 5 yards per rush with 303 passing on 35 attempts behind a backup quarterback. Caleb Williams hit on 14 of 25 passes for 219 yards with a touchdown. He averaged 8.8 yards per pass attempt and had 41 rushing yards and three touchdowns. Notre Dame fell to 5-2, a 33-20 road defeat at Louisville. Fine Irish rushed for only 44 yards for less than two yards a carry. They allowed 185 yards rushing to the Cardinals on 40 carries with 145 passing on 24 pass attempts. Sam Hartman, 22 of 38 for 254 yards with two touchdowns and three interceptions. He averaged a season low 6.7 yards for pass attempt. Hartman was sacked five times. USC is fourth in total offense, averaging 523 yards a game. They averaged 8.5 yards per play, which is second in the nation. They are an efficient offense with 6.2 yards per rush, 15 yards per completion, 10.5 yards per pass attempt. Notre Dame has defended well, but faced the strongest offense here they've t- taken on. USC's defense, though, 111th in the nation, allowing 421 yards a game. But the issue with Notre Dame is current form over the past five games, averaging 26 points a game, 62% completion rate, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. We'll put the check mark here on the Trojans based on their offensive efficiency. Player USC plus two and a half. Miami and North Carolina college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Uh, Miami fell to 4 and 1, a 23 20 home defeat to Georgia Tech. Hurricanes rushed for 165 yards. They allowed 99 yards rushing to the Yellow Jackets for under four yards of carry, with 151 passing on 26 attempts. Miami committed five turnovers, took two from the Yellow Jackets. Tyler Van Dyke, 24 of 36 for 288 yards with a touchdown, but three picks. He averaged eight yards per pass attempt. A coaching gaffe really cost the Hurricanes the win by not kneeling to end the game. Then they run the ball, fumble it away, give Yellow Jackets some life. And, of course, on their final possession, they win on a late touchdown pass as time expired. North Carolina sits at 5-0 after their 40-7 home victory to Syracuse. Tar Heels gained 202 yards rushing. They allowed 92 yards rushing to the Orange on 28 attempts with 129 passing on 23 attempts. Drake May hit 33 of 47 passes for 442 yards, three touchdowns. He averaged 9.4 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Tar Heels have won four straight against the Hurricanes. Past two home games, the Tar Heels have passed for over 400 yards. Miami has the seventh-rated offense in the country with 5.7 yards per rush. Their passing game is efficient with 13.4 yards per completion and 9.8 yards per pass attempt. North Carolina is ninth-rated offense in all of college football. Averaging 500 yards a game with efficiency as well to boot. Play here Miami, North Carolina, over 57. Missouri and Kentucky college football pick for Saturday. Missouri fell to 5-1, a 49-39 home victory to LSU Tigers. Missouri rushed for 116 yards for 5.5 yards a carry. They surrendered 274 yards rushing to LSU with 259 passing on 23 attempts. Brady Cook, 30 of 47 passing for 395 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions. He averaged 8.4 yards per pass attempt. Kentucky is 5-1 after their 51-12 road defeat to the Georgia Bulldogs. Wildcats rushed for just over two yards to carry. They allowed 173 yards rushing to the Bulldogs with 435 passing on 42 attempts. Devin Leary hit on 10 of 26 passes for 128 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 4.9 yards per pass attempt. The Wildcats have won seven of their past eight against the Tigers. Missouri's top running back, Cody Schrader, is banged up, questionable with that quad injury. He's averaging 6.1 yards per rush. The Wildcats are holding teams to 3.1 yards a carry. Kentucky is rushing effectively nearly six yards a carry. Kentucky has an impressive home win to Florida by 19 points with 329 rushing yards. Play here, Kentucky minus the two. NC State and Duke college football pick. This one here on 
Saturday in NC State, 4-2 after their 48-41 home victory to Marshall Thundering Herd. Wolfpack rushed for 136 yards for four yards a carry. They held the Thundering Herd to three yards a carry with 315 passing on 52 attempts. Each team committed three turnovers. MJ Morris hit on 17 of 32 passes for 265 yards with four touchdowns and three interceptions. He averaged 8.3 yards per attempt. Morris was the backup quarterback and was elevated due to the benching of ineffective Brennan Armstrong. Duke fell to 4-1. A 21-14 home defeat to Notre Dame Fine Irish two weeks ago. Blue Devils rushed for 189 yards. They allowed 159 yards on the ground to the Fine Irish with 222 passing on 31 attempts. It was a minus-two turnover margin for the Blue Devils. Of course, quarterback Riley Leonard is questioned with an ankle injury. He went 12-27 for 134 yards with a touchdown and a reception. He averaged 5 yards per pass attempt and ran for 88 yards. Henry Bellin has seen limited action the past two seasons, throwing a total of 14 passes for 161 yards and a touchdown. Blue Devils 18th in total defense are allowing 297 yards a game. They are allowing 4 yards per rush and have been good defending the pass. NC State passing game is not efficient. The Blue Devils have a strong running game, averaging 5.4 yards a carry play here. Duke minus 3. UAB and UTSA college football pick. This one here on... Saturday, UAB improved to 2-4, a 56-35 home victory to USF. The Blazers rushed for 253 yards. They allowed 211 yards on the ground of the Bulls with 260 passing on 44 attempts. The Blazers had a minus a plus two turnover margin. Jacob Zeno hit on 19 of 25 passes for 350 yards, four touchdowns, and an interception. He averaged 14 yards per pass attempt. UTSA improved to 2-3, a 49-34 road win at Temple Isles. The Roadrunners rushed for 157 yards. They limit the Owls to just over two yards a carry, but 472 yards passing on 65 attempts. Frank Harris completed 25 of 33 for 338 yards with three touchdowns. He averaged 10 yards per pass attempt with a rushing touchdown. It was Harris's return to the lineup after a toe injury. The Blazers are 27th in total offense, averaging 449 yards a game. This is a high-volume passing team that throws for 304 yards a game. The Trailblazers, sorry, the Blazers, said 128th in total defense. They're giving 440 yards a game. 5.6 5.6 yards per rush, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. UTSA is 109th in the country in total defense. They're giving up 414 yards a game, 262 yards passing. With Frank Harris healthy and Jacob Zeno dealing some high passing numbers, this has a look of a high-scoring gameplay here. UAB and UTSA over 67. UCLA and Oregon State college football pick. This one here on Saturday. All right, UCLA improved a 4-1 with their 25-17 home victory to Washington State. The Bruins rushed for 181 yards. They limit the Cougars to 12 yards on rushing yards on 19 carries with 204 yards passing on 40 attempts. Dante Moore, 22 of 44 passing for 290 yards with a touchdown and two interceptions. He averaged 6.6 yards per pass attempt. Oregon State improved a 5-1. A 52-40 road win at California. The Beavers rushed for 203 yards. They allowed 241 yards rushing to the Golden Bears with 207 passing on 32 attempts. DJ Uglalele, 19-25 passing for 275 yards, 5 touchdowns. He averaged 11 yards per pass attempt. Oregon State is 29th in total defense by allowing 324 yards a game. They hold opponents to 3.2 yards per carry and are strong defending the pass. Oregon State 29th in total offense gaining 449 yards, 5.6 yards per rush, and efficient in passing game. You know, we know UCLA is defending well, but the Bruins, behind their freshman quarterback in their lone road pack 12 game, were held to seven points in a loss at Utah, who was utilizing a backup quarterback. The Beavers had a 14-point home win to Utah. The Bruins are averaging only 16 points a game against the conference play here. Oregon State, minus three and a half. Boise State and Colorado State college football pick here for Action Saturday. Boise State improved to 3-3 with a 35-27 home victory to San Jose State Spartans. The Broncos overcame a 17-zip deficit in the second quarter. They rushed for 262 yards. Boise State allowed 104 yards to the Spartans with 4 yards for carry with 325 yards passing on 38 attempts. The team survived a minus 2 turnover margin. Taylor Green completed 4 of 8 passes for 75 yards and a touchdown. He averaged 9.4 yards for pass attempt, plus rush for 40 yards and two touchdowns. Maddox Madsen split time and hit on 9 of 16 passes for 155 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 9.7 yards for pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Carl State fell to 2-3, and three, 
a 44-24 road defeat at um, to the Utah State Aggies. Rams rushed for, for under four yards at carry, and they surrendered 222 yards rushing to the Aggies with 387 passing on 29 attempts. Colorado State turned it over five times, took four from the Aggies. Brandon Fowler, Nicolosi, he hit on uh, in the game. He hit 26 here of 26 of 57 passes for 225 yards with three t- interceptions. He averaged only 3.9 yards for passing depth. Colorado State is 131st in the nation in total defense. They're allowing 478 yards a game. Teams complete 73% of their passes on the Rams with 8.3 yards from pass attempt. Boise State is running for 5 yards of carry and have 14 yards per completed pass, about 8 yards per pass attempt. Colorado State is a high-volume passing team, averaging 7.8 yards per pass attempt. Boise State is near the bottom of college football. They're giving up 14.5 yards per completion, 9.5 yards per pass attempt. Play here at Boise State and Colorado State over 61. San Diego State and Hawaii college football pick. This one here is on Saturday. All right, uh, here we go with this one. San Diego State have fell a 2-4 with their 49-10 road defeat at Air Force two weeks ago. The Aztecs rushed for 3.5 yards at carry. They surrendered 287 yards rushing to the Falcons with 189 passing on seven attempts. Jalen Maiden hit on 13-24 of 24 for 122 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 5.1 yards per attempt. Why fell a 2-4, a 44-20 road defeat at UNLV Rebels two weeks ago. The Warriors rushed for under two yards at carry. They allowed 307 yards rushing to the Rebels with 142 passing yards on 21 attempts. Brandon Shager completed 22 of 35 passes for 313 yards with two touchdowns and an interception. He averaged 8.9 yards per pass attempt and was sacked six times. The Aztecs 115th in the nation in total offense, averaging 325 yards a game. The passing game is inefficient. The defense has fallen way off by sitting 119th in the nation by allowing 437 yards per game, 5.3 yards per rush, 14 yards per completion pass, and 7.5 yards per pass attempt. Play here will be on Hawaii at plus the six. All right, that was our college football pick show here for Saturday, we got you every game on the card. We've got like 49 games, so we got you every one here. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free college football picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports like NFL, like Major League Baseball playoffs. Of course, uh, NHL started. we got your NHL picks up there. Throw some peripheral plays up there for you as well. And of course, NBA starts in about a week and a half, so it's a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, give us that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit our site, TonySpicks.com, for our best plays. Our premium picks are there, so get over and get signed up. Remember the promo code TonyT at checkout. You'll save 20% off, and you can find the link to our site in the description. All right. We're covered you here for, for Saturday College Football with every game on the board. A free pick on all of them. Guess our, and uh, this is Tony T. We'll talk to you guys later.